Still, and obviously very shaken by her experience, and still refusing to go back home and with three children, this was affecting the whole family. Just sitting here quietly for the next 15 or 20 minutes to see if we hear anything or I can observe anything. It was a very, very cold, dark evening. I had been awake many, many hours, some in the region approximately around about 37. Then I got a call, a call about a young mother who had fled her house in fear after seeing an apparition, a female, on the stairs, as well as a gentleman in her bedroom. Understandably, this had had quite an impact on her, doing what any mother would do. She fled the house, she got a taxi, and I caught up with her and her friends. The following footage has been filmed on the fly and in accordance with the wishes of my client. Well, believe it or not, how much did this made of Mrs P at uh, nearly 11 o'clock at night? Just had a call. Marie, hold on. One of her neighbours has just grabbed her child, fled the house after seeing a man appear in her bedroom, as in apparition. I normally drop everything and shoot out, but it is local and there's a child involved, and you never know, so I'll feel better as well. So I'm going to check that out now. I'll be back with shortly. I received many calls from people convinced paranormal activities taking place in their home. I remember Marie who first alerted me to this particular case. The first task was to catch up with Marie to see if she could shed any more light on what had happened or provide any further information which could prove quite important. What's happening? Well, yeah. she's just rang me, says Marie, Marie, and she's in her heart state. And I was like, what's the matter? Just calm down a little bit, you know. She's got a friend and she's got a baby. And she's on her way in a taxi. I went, right. And she's, She's seen a ghost in her house, but things have been happening for quite a while. Right. I said, right, we'll start at the beginning. She said, well, a friend used to live there and used to be running up and down the stairs all the time, but a friend moved down. Yeah, well, I'm worried about that. Yeah. What's happened tonight? Well, he's a bit odd because this girl was hysterics. She's calmed down now. She said you could hear her screaming, didn't she? She'll probably, I heard her probably in a taxi where I was on the phone to Tanya and she's in her right state, got a little baby. All right, okay. No, but... I heard her crying in the back when she turned right state she is. But she, everyone thinks I'm going mad, I'm going, but she, she's in the So I'll, I'll, I'll put her around now, then we're gonna have a look. What, so where am I going, right? Okay, it sounds pretty scary stuff, but obviously we can't assess anything until we get there. As I've said before. Oh, yeah, she's upstairs. 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 She's You know it's scary now. I know it's scary, but I, I, have to, yeah, I, have, I have to ask these questions, don't I? You know? Yeah. Alright. It's just the only thing that I get my body when I think about it. It's so horrible. Yeah, but there may be other things going on that we don't know yet. You know? But I mean, you, you're saying that you saw a woman. Yeah, I did. It's made me said to me. Tell him what he said to me about her like, hands. Like, I, was, I had my back and there's a picture frame there on my fireplace right. okay. and I was looking at it. And she was climbing down like that and I was holding on to the bars. 
She was climbing down. Was no, she won't climb me down. No, I won't. I like to say that. Come on down, come on down. Wait, come down. <laughs> Look, listen, shall we, shall we quit with the questions for now? Because you were upset. No, she was, she was climbing down right there. Not down. downstairs, like, where the balls are. Yeah, she, she was holding on to and I could, And I could, I could see her, like, in the thing. In the picture. Is this on the opposite side of the When you walk in. Yeah, you... but it's facing, like, my set here has got, like, I've got my back to the stairs. So when you walk in, here's yeah. a my picture frame's there. You can right. see the picture frame. She's behind me, climbing down the stairs, like this. Holding on to the banister, I Yeah, and I could hear it, I could see her through the picture frame, I could see yeah. a shadow, like, in the corner of my eye doing it, and, um, right. and I could feel, like, cold just coming me, all by like. my neck. Can I just ask you one question if it doesn't upset you too much? You know, said you saw this lady coming down the stairs holding on the bars. Was it on the inside of the stairs where the stairs are, or was it on the outside of the stairs where on, the bars? On the inside. It was and, on the inside. Yeah, and, okay. and then I, I, when, I, when I see something like that, I have to look again. Do you know? Thank you. Do you yeah. know, to see if. Like, I don't, I don't want to look, but I had to. It was one of them. Right. And, I, and I looked again, and then the, the next time she's. Oh, my day. If there's nothing in that house, then she's, she's going I'm, I'm going mental. Well, I Seriously. can only tell you what I find at the time. If I've, there's something in the house, I will know, trust me. Um, yes. Although I'd like to make you feel better about the situation by finding other p possible explanations or whatever, I'm not going to lie to you, because that would be a little point in that. If there was something there, don't put me in back saying, oh, it's okay, there's not, because you'll know that there is, okay? But by the same token, if I say there's nothing in there, you have to accept that, because believe me, I will know. Yeah, I ain't going back there. I'm, okay. My head's my head's messed up if there's nothing in there. Seriously, well, I, 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 I can only, I can only report it. I find it. That's what I'm saying to you. All right. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna Right, um, I don't know what the case is. Yeah, as you can see, I've just been in, in the friend's house and spoke to the extremely frightened young mother. She's actually describing it. She actually saw full apparition, apparition of a lady. She could see her hand. She could see her hair. She described how she was climbing down the banister. Uh, waved at her. At this point, I felt the very familiar presence of Becky. Becky, is there a spirit lady in the house of any any kind? Chances are, if there is, then you will, that spirit lady will also know that I'm about to come round. So if you're here, speak to me. Tell me what have you got to say to me. I'm going to be there in about five minutes' time. Right, I'll continue just when I get around there. The priority is not collecting evidence, it is the young ladies, the young mother's state of mind, but obviously as, to find out what's going on I need to collect evidence along the way. So I'm going to go down there, I'll see you at the other end. It was obvious the whole experience was still taking its toll on her. And one way or the other, I had to resolve this situation. Okay, so I've just uh, just arrived. Let's just uh, put my head in the door. I'm going to put the camera down at the moment so I don't identify the house. Entering the property, I was immediately aware of a very strong spirit presence. Okay, I can feel very, very, very strong energy here at this point. Right, I'm. Uh, I already know you guys are here.
I've only established very quickly that there was obvious activity and spirit personalities in the property. It was time to become acquainted with them and try and bring some kind of resolve to my client's situation. Okay, yeah, I've established that you're here and I've established I can hear you. Can, is there a lady here that shown herself on the stairs? I need you to be clear for me, please. You will have 10 seconds between each time when I press these buttons. For you. I mean, you're not stupid people. You'll know what digital recorders are. 10 seconds I allow for a reply. So please, if you've got anything to say, say it within the first 10 seconds. It sounds like can you leave us here? I'm not sure at the moment. Okay, at this point, that's my guys. Uh, Spirits residing here, can you give me a number, please? Prior to arriving, Becky here before me, there was 11. Now it would appear there were seven. It sounded like something with a seven on the end there. There are seven. I then decided to venture upstairs. It was quite obvious she had left in a hurry. There's a light there, I think. She has left in a hurry. So she just grabbed the baby and shot out when she was Through the bath. TV's on pause downstairs. Okay, now I've been in the property for probably about an hour. Uh, well, yeah, it is It is about an hour now. Um, yeah, okay, there's definitely voice and everything in there, as, as I've explained, and I think that'll be most apparent when I actually check when I get back. I'm now going to have a, look, uh, a chat with the client, explain the situation very tactfully. And I intend to return tomorrow to see if I can find some kind of resolve, get some information. I will speak to Becky and the guys to find out what the situation exactly is before I know which way to approach it. So that's it for now. Um, so I'm tired. I'm going to head back now and see the client. The following day, I caught up with my client at a relative's prior to me visiting the house yet again that evening. Yeah, she was petrified. She really was not good last night, was she? No, no. I just told her to get in a taxi and come straight here. I'll have a chat with her when she comes back in a minute. Um, I mean, our, our priority is yeah. her, her welfare and how she feels about things. Yeah. Whether there's all the explanation as to what she feels or is convinced she saw or encountered, we yet to determine. But there's certainly no way that we can write that account off. Yeah. I will tonight go round and she explained the exact circumstances in which she saw this lady on the staircase. She described she could see her hair, she could see her hands which was quite important. And the nails, the long nails. And the long nails, you see that, that is that is really quite rare. Because people mm. sometimes say oh I've seen a figure but to describe something in such detail so I will drop round tonight. And she had the smile on her face. Yeah, yeah. It went. Okay. It might take in a bit sinister, I think. Okay. The way she described it to me, I thought I would have said sinister. Yeah, but we can't assume yeah. anything because no. we wasn't there. There's a that was there, so. Okay, so we'll leave it at that now. Thank you. Yeah. I'll speak to explain what we'll do later this evening and we'll see if we can bring some kind of resolve. Yeah. All right, thank you. Hopefully, you can. I'd hoped that overnight she'd had a chance to calm down. This, unfortunately, wasn't the situation. Right. Just put around a quick five minute chat with you. I've just had a little chat with you now. Okay. Last night you was obviously extremely upset. I've got to ask you a couple of questions again that I asked you last night. Is that okay? 
Yeah. Can you tell me what it is you saw? Can you describe it for me? Oh, I don't want to. You don't want to, but you, it's still what you said last night. Yeah, it is. Okay, all right. I've still got the keys to your place. Next, I'm still at goal from here. Okay, I've still got the keys to your place. I'll be going in there later this evening. You said that it was the picture picture frame that you was using that you were looking at at the time. Yeah, it was in like one of the, the class things. I've seen the re reflection. Whereabouts is the frame now? In front of the fireplace. Is well, it the, the, do you know that thing that comes out like that? What's the frame look like? It's um like loads of square, like not oh, squares oh. but rectangles. Okay, right, so which the stairs right at the back of me. Right, so you're sitting on the sofa directly in front of the stairs. Yeah. You're looking at the frame. Yeah. No, I was looking into the frame. Into the frame. Yeah. The glass. Yeah. And that reflected the stairs behind you. Yeah. And that's when you saw. Yeah, and I heard it as <coughs> well while the stairs creaking as I was watching it come down. Just assume things. I have to be extremely thorough, which is why sometimes I have to ask you the same question. But I'm just trying to establish anything that's happened recently in the area. Because that's when things started <coughs> getting fast. Okay. But again, we can't attribute that because we don't actually know, yeah? I've come to investigate what's going on. To do that, I need to be able to do that properly, which means you're having all, all the information. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to end this here, because I can see you're getting a bit upset. Um, I will update you after we into the property tonight, and we'll come back then and, and go from there. All right. Mm -hmm. That doesn't, me to that, doesn't, that doesn't detract anything from what <laughs> may, may be occurring or what she's experiencing, you know. Oh. She's obviously very, very frightened. It is very, very much affecting her life at the moment, and, and that is a concern. Yeah. If he was going to come back and tell, I was expecting him to come back and say that there's nothing there. And I, I was telling Tango, I was just. Oh. It's, it, it, it's not the norm for people, you know. It's really not the norm for them to, to be in that environment. No, but to be like that. Yeah, to be like that. I mean, this this is all day as well, isn't it? Yeah. Virtually. So, rang you, convinced that she was going crazy. Yeah. And and said what? She asked me to section. Get a section. This is one of the reasons why we need to address everything mm. as thoroughly as possible. So it's well, if we didn't, if nothing happened, then he won't be here now, and I'd still be thinking that that's me. Yeah. Still and obviously very shaken by her experience and still refusing to go back home and with three children. This was affecting the whole family and this issue had to be resolved. Okay, here we are. Um, unfortunately, it would appear that since the last visit, the electric has gone. So I'm all in darkness. I oh, know the electric's on. Has somebody been back? Because I left the lights on in this place. Right, I'm back as I said I would be. Tonight, um, I'm after some answers. Just to find a light. TV was left on last time. The lights were left on, so someone must have been back. I have to check, where's the light switches?
Okay. No bulb in there. And we'll change that over. Okay, and outside the property, um, one thing that is most apparent last night where I was feeling the presence of somebody, something, at the moment, it's a normal house. No explanation for that whatsoever. There is no, I can't sense the presence of anybody. There's no particular atmosphere that's out of the norm or anything else. I spoke to earlier today, as you've seen, she got quite upset. This is quite a delicate case for quite a few reasons. One of the things that I was interested in establishing is the circumstances in which she claimed to have seen this apparition of this lady. She went into great detail of describing she saw her hair, she saw her face, her hands, even the fact that she got long um, fingernails. That in itself is extremely unusual for someone reporting seeing something. Normally people say, I saw the figure of or a figure-like object. Now, the circumstances Apparently, she was sitting on the sofa with a staircase behind her and she was looking at, into, at this. This is a, a peach frame with uh, lots of panes of glass and it was while looking in here she got a glimpse of this apparition or whatever it was, which I'm yet to determine and probably never will be able to determine for sure. She got a glimpse of that behind her so tonight around the same time, in the same environment, under the exact same circumstances, I'm going to do that and see if I can see what she saw, or maybe I might discover that she saw something other than what she thinks she did. Either way, she's very disturbed by the whole experience. Um, people don't tend to grab their eight-month-old child and flee the house on a cold in the middle of the night, especially in these temperatures, for nothing. So. The time now is, it's now five to nine and it was just after nine when apparently this occurred the other night. So I'm gonna set up now, let's just see what happens. Um, I will spend some time investigating the place this evening. After all, that's why I'm here. Um, I am looking for answers. So I'm now gonna set up the exact same circumstances, same environment and see if I can encounter or at least see something that resembles or could be interpreted as what reported. My client had given a very, very detailed description of what she saw. So my first task was to establish whether so much detail could be seen in a reflection within the glass of the picture frame. From above, just behind me to the left hand side is another camera which I'm hoping we'll be able to possibly pick up anything that I might see in the reflection in the mirror. It is quite dark so it may not work but this is camera two. According to uh, Thought the first thing that she heard was creaking on the stairs. I'll be listening out for that. In the meantime, I've got the uh, frame on my knee, and it's a very, very good reflection of the, the stairs behind. I don't feel I'll get this on camera, but I'll try and show you now. Possibly won't see anything. Let me try that with the night vision. Oh. That's the, uh, the reflection. Just said it was so now, as case, we're just sitting here quietly for the next 15 or 20 minutes to see if we hear anything or I can observe anything or actually feel anything change in the atmosphere at the moment. It's very, very quiet and I'm not sensing anything at all at the ordinary. If that changes, I will put the camera back on and update you accordingly. One thing that is quite apparent, this is as near as damage you'll get to a mirror. Um, I don't know if you can see on that camera, but it is very, very, very good uh, reflection even in this light, um, which obviously reduces the chance of misidentifications. Note, um, just seconds ago I thought I heard a, a male voice I have to check that camera and review the footage. I can't actually see anything to cause misidentification of what she's actually describing. The description was 
very specific. After waiting for approximately half an hour, I decided it'd be a good idea to pop up the picture frame in direct line with the camera while I ventured upstairs to see if I could dig a little deeper. It wasn't until I got halfway up the stairs I was suddenly met by a wall of very, very strong spirit energy. Right just here. Although the conditions outside were still making it very difficult for communications, I could now feel an abundance of spirit energy and was hoping that the conditions would allow some kind of communication with some of the spirits who were obviously there. Okay, there, there was um, a distinct change. There was a distinct change. Um, I actually felt a lot of something then. I walked up the stairs and walked back down the stairs and I actually felt a great deal. So I think I'm going to actually concentrate my efforts at the moment just at the top of the stairs. Um, I'm going to sit up there so we can take a few recordings. As you're aware, the main report was an apparition of a lady on the stairs. So therefore, was it coincidence that the first, first contact I made happened to be with a lady on the stairs. Here she asks, can you hear us? The most interesting thing about these two recordings is they both repeat the exact same phrase on two different recorders taken at separate times. This cannot be down to pareidolia. This cannot be down to static. This cannot be down to transience. First time I've used this recorder that Lippers sent me, that, that gets my boat. Not that they're always advertise a Lippers, although they are, they are my uh, sponsors, obviously, but um, I was very impressed with that first recording. Let's try this one. Is that the same recording as what was on there? Probably, I'm sure. <laughs> Static, pareidolia, whatever argument people want to put forward, you do not get two exactly the same recordings on two recorders taken at different times. Unless there's a very real source. This is the first one on this recorder. And this is when I typed up several seconds afterwards. Which is exactly the same. Okay, let's talk. 
Let's talk. You have failed to answer my question. Or not that I heard. Directed to the lady I'd identified on the stairs. It was a simple question. Why are you here? You like to leave the cemetery? OK, that's fine, and thank you for that. OK, um, I should agree. Superb reply there. I like to come from the cemetery. Um, I haven't got a problem with that, but it's not ideal for homeowners. So I think the frequency has actually changed now on the recorder, which does happen sometimes. So I'm going to switch to one of the recorders to see how we get on. The lady of the house is very frightened. As a show of respect to me, give me an exact number. How many of you are here? When it comes to spirits, you might say we have a special relationship. Having just explained the situation and how it was affecting my client, I first asked how many there were. This was met with the answer 11, which was earlier also mentioned by Becky, but they'd also agreed to leave and asked, do you want us to go? Still, the camera's audio and visual functions were drastically degraded every time they was either near or at the top of the stairs. Are you here all the time or do you all just happen to come from the cemetery occasionally? And this would have been the best reply of the evening if only I could understand what he was saying. Thank you. As previously mentioned, I actually felt the spirit energy follow me down the stairs each time I went down. I decided to go to the kitchen and try a little experiment. I placed three recorders all at the side of each other, the results of which were extremely intriguing. Including this one, which sounded like a gentleman, he only seemed to say one word, but it did sound as though he was foreign. <laughs> The video camera picked up what sounded like a lady's voice calling for me to stay. And just in case there's any confusion as between what static should sound like and what spirit voice AVP should sound like, here's an example of static. They're a lovely family, they just need some help. I'm trying my best and hopefully we will resolve the situation for them one way or another. Right now, I'm going to get back. It is now almost 10 to 1 in the morning. Um, see what happens. That's as much as I can do for now. Um, that's it. So from me, for now, good night. Okay, the recent events, obviously, uh, the last couple of days, obviously took um, had quite an effect on <laughs> going down the house again. I'm going to actually uh, meet down there. She's going to be going in for the first time. <laughs> You're back for the first time in a few days. Um, You're obviously looking a little more relaxed than you was yeah. previously. How are you actually feeling at this time? Um, I feel all right. You're feeling a lot better? Yeah. Yeah. I've just been round. Um, couldn't feel anything. Took a couple of call -ins, didn't hear anything. Um, at the moment, I would say there's absolutely nothing here, and it could be the case. Yeah, well, I feel better when I walked in. Did, did you? Yeah. Okay, well, it could be the case. I did specifically ask them to leave because it was upsetting you. I even invited them to come to my place. Did you? I do that a lot. Yeah, going back with you. I'll let you know because at some point late this evening, I'll... I will 
have a chat at my place and see <laughs> if they say yes we're from oh, your place and then, then we'll know okay I can't make guarantees at this point mm -hmm. I can only tell you what I find at they the time come back, can't they? well you know at the end of the day anything's possible you're dealing with your known but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to does it mm. I told you I made contact with a gentleman and a lady both seem perfectly pleasant um, in no way threatening but for you not understanding yeah. the unknown and everything, then obviously it's just alarm bells. Yeah. Right, are you alone? No. All right, I'm glad that we've got at least some resolve. Yeah. At least for the time being. Oh, thank you so much. It's all right, you've got my number. Yeah. You've got my contact details. I will be in touch anywhere in the next day or two. What you've got to understand is every bump creek is not going to be associated to, yeah. to our friends. Yeah. And that's what you need to mind yourself. Yeah. But we'll check up on you in a couple of days. All right then.